Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Uzbek Unleashed. Alright. Can we rival Poland now? Yes, we can. Cool. Well, that's good rebellion. Uh, good rivalry, I think. We will embargo them. Um, our other rivalry was Novgorod and Ming. We will make sure that we've got them embargoed. It's not very much money. But thank you. I do appreciate the, uh, the offer. Okay, um, our embargoes and others, we still need to embargo Ming. Trying to get my power projection back up. Above 50. The rival of a rival, make the Ottomans like us. So, they've decided to become hostile, evidently. Okay, we don't need to improve with Persia anymore. I like how you can see their score right, right there, that's quite nice. We're going to do this mission, even though um, they want our provinces. I'll give you military access, because it makes you like me. Annexed subjects has expired, which means we're going to, quite quickly, start to uh, in integrate uh, Perm. Royal marriage from Persia, there's no downside, so why not? And you guys, we will start to march back. Uzbek loses core. So, rightful ownership. One of our... Of late, one of our subjects has seen fit to remind us of the tensions caused by us owning land which they view as right, rightfully theirs. Give them Canada. Canada? No. It's only three development. No. <laughs> no. I mean, you, you can have that liberty desire, it's fine. As as we improve relations with you, and the aggressive expansion goes down, it'll be fine. Okay, so the Ottomans, uh, yeah, that's not so good. Um, Ottomans has decided to, uh, to attack us. We need money, so we're gonna try to go negative piety. Is that your capital? You just have a random fort there. You are the finest. Infantry combat ability. Cool. Well, it's kind of annoying that, um... Raising power... Oh, yeah. Yes, we're gonna have to do this. Um, goods produced modifier stinks. We're gonna lose a lot of money from that, but... Um, it seems fine. France has declared war of Brittany. Oh, the rest of the world's been revealed to us. All right, cool. So we can see a lot of Africa. We got Portuguese Africa down there. Fulo, Tunis seems to have dominated the Iberian, uh, sorry, the African, North African area. England has of course done this. They must not be on Tech Ten yet, so otherwise they'd form Great Britain. France has expanded into Aragon a little bit. Burgundy still exists. Bavaria seems like they have a new color. Hungary still exists. They ate uh, part of this guy. They didn't get down to Ragusa. Sweden strong, Commonwealth really strong. Mam looks pretty weak. Kilwa, Ezron, Adal, they're all normal. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go up to positive one stability for the money. Very small amount of money, but we need the money. If I could just get my interest paid off, I mean that's a pretty sizable amount. These loans are huge. Alright, I guess it's worth paying to, to convert. Looks like we're not going to be able to get that mission done, huh? It's too bad. Well, I don't really want to attack Novgorod. Um, not when they're allied to the Commonwealth. If finishing the integration of Perm would be nice. Making some more money would be nice. I mean, we're pretty huge, too, compared to these guys, so I'm not that worried about it. If we actually size them up in the ledger, how do they look development-wise? We have the second highest development. Ottomans are pretty far up there. Commonwealth is pretty high as well. What? Catholic? What the hell's that? 
So you can no longer force a rebellion and have them culture like uh, do the conversions for you. That was something I was reading in the patch notes, which is uh, unfortunate. We are at 49 power projection. Let's go ahead and insult Novgron. Get up to 50, 54. Of course, there's another rebellion. These guys might move into uh, into the Ottomans, though. Montrega. That's going to be due to the conversion. Notice how the uh, insulted rival doesn't tick away by one the very next month. That is a bug fix, apparently, that they've corrected. Yep, as expected, the Ottomans are going to take care of one. Novgorod's declared one, the Livonians. I'm assuming that uh, they called in the Commonwealth. Yes, they did. These two should really not be friends. Sweden has declared one, Denmark. Sweden, like, you guys, you love doing that, don't you? I mean, our manpower is fantastic. It's just, we need to make some more money. Form an alliance with Multum. Uh, okay. I mean, if you would accept, I would be willing to do that. You're too large to vassalize. Uh, you're also worth too much war score for me to force vassalize. But still, a temporary alliance with Multum is fine. I have no real plans to attack him. Although, I will admit, if, his, if it was less than 100%, I would probably... Declare war on him, take everything that has more than, say, six development, and then vassalize the remainder, raise it all, return it all. That seems to be, like, the ultimate broken approach. Um, now we need to make Hungary like us. We can try. We have, uh... Full diplomatic, so we can always break that if we want to. Truce with Amon is up. That was quick. We're making some money, but not, not nearly as much as I'd like. I'm really concerned about all these damn separatists. Alright, so we're going to be the defender, and the battle will be January 25th. Yeah, okay. Here I go, marching around with very little morale, and then we keep rolling ones. I mean, we didn't lose much. We killed far more than we lost, but we should have been able to win that battle. I didn't have this financial issue. I think we will need, like, economic ideas or something at some point, just to be able to afford this raising expansion mentality. There's definitely a drawback to the to the strategy. I'm not saying, like, it's totally, totally flawed, or, you know, the game's not... It's... What it is, is it's when I went and I trained, like, that extra 50 regiments worth of cavalry and artillery. That was very expensive. Like, you can't come even close to supporting this force limit. There's just no way. Not of cavalry and artillery. Now, on the other hand, maybe if I had uh, if I had managed to get my my estate to be loyal due to events and stuff, okay, you've got quite a long way to go. Poor Persia. I mean, he's trying. He really is. I think we just definitely start annexing him. 1536 Diplo. Okay, well, let's get started. Tyrant Overlord. 
Yeah, a little bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, I keep on renewing these loans, man. Need to get them paid off. So we're at 75%, still 80 here. If I need to, I can raise my maintenance up. I'm hoping we don't need to. I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna force myself to not do any conversions for a while. Like, we're doing totally fine on Religious Unity. We're not even really gaining anything by getting this land converted, because we're completely tolerant of them. Like, the only thing that we're missing out on is tolerance. Um, having it be the wrong religion is not affecting production. Is it? Culture being wrong does. Yeah, no. It doesn't... doesn't matter. So, we're just spending money on it right now. Money that we need to pay off our debt. We want to lose piety. Finally, we have negative piety. National tax modifier starts to come up. Alright, so right-click on that. We're not doing any more conversions for now. We're still at 80% on the Theodoran Separatists. Steals Teki Navara, a hundred years late. They could have done that a long time ago. I like how you can see the progress. Oh no, that's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking that was the uh, progress of them rebelling. Like, enforcing their demands. Hungary is at 97. We are about to finish the integration of Perm. Be nice if we could get the uh, the triggered modifier Western arms trade. Any neighboring country that's Western, we could become friends with. You know, maybe we make it Hungary. Try to eat our way over to Hungary. Hungary's no, Hungary's Eastern, aren't they? Yeah, we'd have to go even farther west. All right, no more conversion for now. Let's get our country under control. Repay a loan. Yay. We're down to just two, one loan. Okay, we have no unrest. Um, let's see if we can lower autonomy anywhere. I don't think we can, but we'll try if at all possible. I'd say negative eight's just not good enough. In order to do it, we'd have to have a theologian. So like as an example province, Kulab. It's the right culture, it's the right religion. Everything about it's pretty good, it's just not enough. We would need more stability, and uh, it'd be it'd be a tough time if we did do that. But we could get our horde unity up by going to war, um, and we could go to war if we had money. The nation of Molten is requesting you come to their aid in the Multani Jihad against Nepal. All right, sure. Nice. Loyalty. Oh, right. So since I did the integration, now they want more land. Makes sense. I don't really want to participate in your war. I mean, I'm not going to decline the call. But I don't really want to participate. Alright, now we're losing money. Oh, it automatically raised my maintenance, right. Yeah, no. I'm just kidding, I don't actually want maintenance. So that was maxed out relations with Muscovy, who is at positive 34. It's gonna take a little while for them to actually, uh, you know, like us enough to allow us to integrate them. But, you know, give it 10 years. Like, we can't even integrate them until for three more years. In three years, we're gonna gain back quite a bit. Not to mention we're going to return cores to them from Novgorod. That alliance is pretty strong. We're integrating Persia at two per month.
That's gonna give us another inspiring mission. Mission. Otawa. Yeah, no. Still a little bit of separatism there. Um. Gotta pay off my debt. <clears throat> Need to make more money. If we could spend some more time at peace, we could actually get our autonomy down. Which would be pretty important, pretty significant. I'm wondering, is it showing... It's not showing the, uh, the provinces that it can't go lower because of the estate. Is it? I hope not. Wow, that one's actually green. Is it green letting me know, like, hey, it's green to... you can lower it. Seems like it, maybe. Yeah, they've got this war on their own anyway. Um, let's see. How's tech look over Ming? They're tech level behind. And it is not a tactics level. Next level's tactics. We could get... Get caught up on tech, get to tech 12. Ottomans are probably going to beat us there this time. Our truce with Oman is up. I think Oman's probably the next candidate to attack, but we don't have a CB against him right now. Because we don't border him. Should have kept one province that borders him. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to... Set them to hostile so that Persia will hopefully fabricate on them. On the other hand, we could just try attacking the Ottomans. The Ottomans have 60, 50, 53,000 troops with very little manpower. Um, they have... 6 quality. Attack 11, just like us. It would be an interesting war. I think we could probably beat them. Would it be costly? Yes, probably. Can we afford costly right now? No, not really. Our truce is now up. They may attack me. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks, game. Tribes just gained influence. Awfully close to 80%. Is the final offensive idea. Let's go ahead and take... Um, I'm just going to turn that policy on and we're just going to keep it on. It's just too good. National unrest minus one, years of separatism minus five. And that actually might be what does it. That might be what permits us to now um, to do the local autonomy reduction. Like if we could get to level two stability, there's so many provinces where we could do it. And so I think I'm going to do that. I think that the amount of money we're going to make, it's probably worth spending it. So we're going to take that. We also picked up the stability cost reduction there, which is nice. We also picked up national manpower modifier plus 25%, which is... Fine, I don't think it's updated yet. We also picked up Recover Morale and Discipline. So with that, yeah, now there's provinces where... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. They're just starting to show up that they're good. They're good to be lowered. And that's without a Theologian, so that's quite nice. Positive stability helps as well to actually give us the ability to uh, earn earn profit. I like gold mine. We have multiple gold mines. I think I need to find those gold mines and upgrade them. So we have gold here, here, and here. Seventy-five points, sixty-three, seventy-five. I am I'm willing to just pay the points here. The autonomy is pretty good.
Upgrading the mountains. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's going to cause more inflation. It's going to continue to cause problems, but getting those gold mines up to, to 10 development, I think, is a good idea. Oh no, the game has crashed. The game just crashed to desktop. Why combine that army? I don't know why. I sure hope that it's saved. What the hell? Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> I sure hope we didn't lose the save! No! Uh, it's Iron Man, so we didn't lose the save, but it, it only saves every three months, and it crashed hard to desktop, right there, when I tried to combine that army. I don't have any idea why. Let's see. <clears throat> Game is meant to be played as Uzbek. I know. Alright, we're in the war. Our maintenance is down. I was looking, it, it's forgotten my map modes again. Um, I had not yet done this. me or was that the keyboard shortcut not working? Why did that keyboard shortcut not work? Cancel missionary. This this one's not working. It's weird. Okay, and going back to autonomy. We just loaded in, so that's the problem. Okay, um, alright, well I'm going to take a break here then, we'll just reload the game again, and uh, see if we can stabilize this a little bit. Um, so we got to pay off our debt, and I think we're good. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching everyone, see you soon.